be showing you my uh, pool foundation kind of base routine. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pin back my hair first. Not really gonna do anything. Okay, I'm just gonna check in. I'm back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. We're gonna do again cinnamon raisin cookies. And it smells like heaven. Smells <sighs> definitely like cinnamon and a lot of raisins. I can't smell the cookie, but I can smell the raisins in the dairy. So this is just like my foundation, it's not anything else. So to get started off, after I have sanitized my beautiful hands, I'm going to be using a moisturizer from Avino with some cinnamon in it just because I don't know what I'm going to be doing today or any day. Well, I don't really use a moisturizer all the time, but it does help kind of set everything else. So, I like doing this a lot. Um, um, this is just me being a weirdo. A primer from Hard Candy, which is the Hard Candy Sheer Indie. I'm almost out of this, and this stuff is like $6. <laughs> like, I need to chill out with doing this. I can't even get the top back on. Like, this is crazy. Okay. Yeah. Just about a squirt. Well, mine's not a squirt. Mine's like a squeeze. Just about a squeeze, guys. Just about a squeeze. And this is me now just kind of like dotting it first and then after I get to the forehead I like to blend it in after which is just so easy I like to kind of blend it down to my neck as well because I do blend down my foundation down to my neck I don't want it to set real fast because I don't want it to do anything and to help that set fast I'm just going to use my Kat Von D setting pumpkin okay it has really bad stuff to it, by the way. Oh, hang on, let me use my other one. I actually have another one. That's the wrong one. Okay. Let that set real fast. I'll pull right now. No makeup. I'm using my Rimmel London Stay Matte Foundation, and I'm in 201 Classic Beige. I'm just going to apply this either to the back or the palm. I prefer the palm. I don't know what y'all like, but for y'all's sake, I'll just do the back. It's a little bit, little bit more easier. But I like this is like a mousse foundation. It's not really, um, you know what I mean. There's a lid. a lot harder to put back in this little section in the center. This brush, setting brush. Just put that on my face. Blend it in it. I look like a freak. <laughs> Don't wear my eyelashes. Nose. And last but not least, forehead. This is like look rough to y'all. <laughs> my stomach hurts like I have bad cramps right now. Like you don't even know. Concealer. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this um, not full coverage concealer right under my eyes. Non gently though because I don't care. Kind of fix everything. This is a good matte foundation. Like this is my, probably my favorite drugstore foundation, but I like the Mac Photo Ready a lot better than this one. And I'm just gonna take a concealer brush and kind of help that a little bit more 
Star Colors powder because that's the one I have in here. I'll be done with that. Video in. Huh? I'm video in. Just gonna set my foundation. Just to clean the brush. I need to clean the brushes. For blush, I'm just gonna be using a Elf All Over Stick. Um, so why I do this is it's a little bit darker than you than it looks. Oh yeah. Try it a little bit on the nose. This smells like lemonade, like it's in pink lemonade, but it smells like it very much. And like since I'm always using this as a little bit creamy, I'm just gonna use the same color powder brush and use this to go right over it. Really quick. You go you just do that and then Now, last but not least, I'm going to be using my bronzer from Wet n Wild, and I'm just going to do my face with that. Like, if I can get it open, like, just so nothing comes open. Okay. Bronzing brush. Dipsy. Kind of blend that out just a little bit more. You don't want it so sheer or dark, you know? Stuff away real fast. Lord, Lord. So now I'm just going to take that same feather that was my full face routine. I hope you guys enjoyed.